Hey guys, uh, Fraley out here with another video from the 4.0.1 PTR. I'm on my druid, which I renamed Briarthorn, as Earthroot was taken. Yes, I know, I tend to name everything after, uh, after herbs. Uh, anyway, by no means am I a good, uh, a really good druid, but I did want to show some new, uh, a couple new spells and, you know, what they look like. So I'm just going to go through the lists of the spells that you would use specifically as a boomkin. Uh, first off, you know, Wrath, it still looks the same. Maybe minor graphical update, it looks a little more like electrical-like, I don't know. Um, Starfire still looks about the same. Uh, a new spell that once you choose to be a boomkin you get, so you can get at level 10, is Star Surge. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Uh, let that cool down, and let me get a better angle at it, and maybe we can see it from the side. So you see a couple other boomkins around here, popping it off. Alright. Alright, check this out. Isn't that awesome looking? I thought it was pretty cool. Um, let's see. Moonfire still looks the same. Uh, as you can see, it actually stacks uh, a buff. When you move, it stacks up, it can stack up to 3, and you can hit it again and do increased damage. So, uh, it's actually kind of cool. And then, of course, uh, that's your next offensive spell, is free, free of mana. Um, anyway, there's Solar Beam now, which when you put that out, it actually does damage to the target, and everyone around it, so it's like a little bit of an AoE. doesn't actually have a thing on there. Uh, and of course, Starfall still looks the same. Now, to actually get your Lunar and Solar Eclipses, there's a new Eclipse Bar, and it actually shows you as you move closer to certain uh, Eclipses, such as your Solar is, of course, the Sun, and your Lunar is the Moon. Uh, it's not what it looked like in the beta originally. It's gotten a little more cartoony. But let's go ahead and hit some more... Uh, nature spells, as you see, it's going down towards the lunar. So let's go ahead and get that all the way down to the lunar. Alright, there's lunar eclipse. Now you can use your lunar spells, and that's going to pop it up. Now see, that's not timed, it just stays until you get up to the next one, so you keep on doing that over and over again. And see, once you get into your solar, your lunar eclipse goes away until you drop back down into it. So you have to just keep going for it, pretty much. There you go. Now you have solar eclipse. Then you do your wrath, you know, all that good stuff. So that's basically what you do over and over. You know, just like you would normally have your play style like that. I don't know, it'll take a little getting used to, to, you know, understand your procs again. But really, it's pretty simple, especially to the new boomkin who doesn't understand, you know, your eclipse. You actually have an eclipse bar that's going to do it for you. Pretty nice, really, it is. Um, aside from that, there's not really anything new. Uh-oh. It's a free spell cast. Ah, there you go. <laughs> anyway, there's still Insect Swarm. I know you don't see it on here. Uh, when you actually click on your training here, it says you can see your trainer, but that's not working. It's not on the trainer. So I submitted a thing, of course. Uh, remember, guys, if you're on the PTR and you're testing things, if something doesn't work, or you really like how something is working now, then please put in feedback. That's why you can alt-left-click it and put in feedback. You can put in a survey. Uh, you can report bugs. You know, anything like that, and give your feedback on it. It honestly really does help the process. And, guys, if you don't put in feedback to it, you really can't complain when it gets changed. You know, because you didn't put any feedback, so how are they supposed to know? Really, that's why you're here. Uh, honestly, about things that you do, you should put in as much feedback as you can. Again, that's why you're here. It's not for your own selfish means. It's, it's for the testing. Um, look at all these boomkins. Have you ever seen so many in one place? Well, a couple 25s might have had this many, but isn't it absolutely insane? And here's that cool spell again. 
that does some pretty hefty damage. Really, uh, everything is doing pretty hefty damage. But anyway, that's what a Boomkin's all about. Uh, I'll see if I can't put out something for, for Resto uh, and show how the new tree form works. Um, but until next time...